I've got this. I don't want to go. Don't make me go, please. Ma, you always loved it when we did things together. Why the sudden change? Don't look at me. Rose is the one going through the change. <laughs> well, that would explain the puffiness. I need some coffee. Oh, I'd love a cup, Sophia. Oh, me too. Blanche, come on. What did the doctor say? Oh, the worst. Just the worst thing ever. Oh, no, honey. It, it's not. It's okay. The baby's going to be fine. Sweetheart, you'll have amniocentesis and the baby will be just fine. Oh, we'll help you. You yeah. won't have to do it alone. The baby will have three oh, mothers. Oh, it'll be such fun, honey. We, we can take turns feeding him. We can take turns waiting. Bedroom. I, I want to lie down for a while. <laughs> Parked a Buick in my bedroom. <laughs> Dorothy, did you have. How could I? I mean, it always seemed to happen before I was in the room. Blanche, <laughs> you're out of bed. This is wonderful. No, it is not wonderful. The amateur consultant had a few recommendations on how to improve my show. They were only suggestions. Some ideas I had that I thought would help the show. Oh, like uh, changing the theme song? Oh, well, I mean, frankly, the lyrics are a bit inane. <laughs> I wrote those lyrics. <laughs> how did Dorothy get you? All alone in some dark, cold box oh. six feet under. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Dorothy, chin up. Posture's important. God, she's alive! By the way, Dorothy, I saw that video of you falling into the gorilla pit to America. We're not meant to live together. I hate to agree with you, but I think you're right. I think so, too. In fact, I know so. This is exactly what happened during the Great Herring War. <laughs> The Great Herring War? Yes, but twist. I'm not really a comedian. Oh, boy, it's a little hot up here. How hot is it? <laughs> I, I don't know, but it's really hot. Hi-oh! <laughs> As I said before... It was Rusty who pulled us all to safety. He even dashed back in the burning building to rescue Scruffy, our cat, whom he Who never, never really, really liked. <laughs> yes, sir, he was a real hero. Oh, if only he hadn't gone back in for the TV. <laughs> it was a double oh, fine, right, Ma? Oh. Ah, it was a hollow victory. Time has taken its toll on Gladys. She's not the fierce competitor she once was. Yeah. <laughs> You know, for the talent section, she was supposed to do a medley from the Fantastics. She started with Try to Remember, and she couldn't. <laughs> and a, a hint of turbulence. This is Captain Lord again. Looks like we're running right into the eye teeth of a big tropical storm. <laughs> I'm a dead woman. <laughs> Fortunately, that means we're going to have to turn around and return to Miami. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Did you hear that, girls? We're saved. And dollars and free root canal work. <laughs> You're a dentist. I, I'll tell you what, I'll give you $25,000 and free root canal work. You're a dentist too. No, but I really want this car. <laughs> Mail call. Me? me. Told me you were engaged. What happened? The war happened. Augustine went off to fight, and I never heard from him again until today. I wonder why he looked you up after all this time. Are you kidding? He was crazy about me. I was the only girl in the village who didn't want to be a nun. Wait a minute, Ma. Three of these people are dead. <laughs> who are they going to tell? <laughs> hi. Oh, hi, Blanche. There you go. Uh, Blanche, you've been gone three hours and you only got one guy to sign this petition? Well, give me a chance to freshen up and change clothes. TV, we're using the household money to repair the roof and repave the driveway. Great. And what am I supposed to do while every other old lady on the block is watching Cosby? Well, you can sit in the new driveway and hope that an amusing black family drops by. <laughs> Maybe we could sell our old TV and you... Oh, no. 
You're not a substitute nurse, too, are you? <laughs> I'm sorry about your knee. You know, you wouldn't have been blindsided if you'd stayed in the pocket. You know football? I know everything. <laughs> ah, I see some people have already signed. Just a little depressed. Really? You know, I'm depressed, too. What are you depressed about? Alvin and I had a fight. I'm making a scarf for a friend I don't have anymore. I know exactly how you feel. I made these for Fernando. <laughs> I thought you broke up with that. I guess I'm all right. I mean, I threw my party because I wanted romance and excitement and moonlight madness, and that's what I got. I got it all with an English accent. <laughs> I didn't have to compromise my virtue. I feel like a lady again. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, I'm starting to get sick of it. Let's see, who's buying? Pulse or pressure? Pressure. 140 over 80. 130 over 80. 120 over 70. Your treat, Esther. <laughs> and I'd stay away from the sausage if I were you. Sophia, would you like to come to my art class today? Did you talk Murray Shimowitz into posing naked yet? Meet yourself. Dorothy, will you let me out of here? No way, Blanche. Oh, well, you can't do this. It's a violation of my civil rights. Well, you have the time, you have the paper. Why don't you sit down and write a long letter to your senator? <laughs> I have a steady boyfriend, and he's out of town, so... I'm exhausted. Why, I rode in the cab. I didn't push it. <laughs> oh, Sophia, honey, how nice to see you. Who are you? <laughs> It's me, Blanche. You look like a prostitute. <laughs> so full of the things you say. She didn't mean that. So 90 years old, he gets naked and goes off down the street right past these two old ladies, Carlotta and Maria. <laughs> Maria turns to Carlotta and says, what the hell was that? And Carlotta says, I don't know, but whatever it was, it sure needs ironing. <laughs> Isles! What are you doing here? Well, not that it matters, but I was on my way to the Theater of the Living. I thought I'd pop in and purchase a couple of day-old eclairs. Which, incidentally, are for a dinner I'm making you next week. But the better question is, what, what are you doing here? What are these dandies yet? Dandies! I didn't go tonight. Who needs the crowds, the hassle? You're sounding old, pussycat. It's not a hearing aid that makes you old. It's what you're becoming by not getting one. Think of what you're missing, all the things I hear. The birds singing, the wind in the trees, the sound of the ticker tape telling you Xerox has gone up to... <laughs> the work. <laughs> hey, hey, why are you wearing makeup? So your mother won't be embarrassed? <laughs> Honey, he won't pay any attention to you, no matter what you do. Oh, yeah? It's... The dam upstream had broken, and this rush of water swept the bridge away. Larry saved my life. If it weren't for a mouse, just like that little one in the kitchen, I wouldn't be sitting here today telling you this story. Ma, really? I was pregnant with your brother, Phil. And just because I put on 40 pounds and was crying all the time, your father got the wandering eye. Did you ever find out who it was? I never actually met her, but I heard she was a short, scrawny, bird-like thing who never shut up. Died. <laughs> what? Oh, no, Rose. And the sheriff? I told him about me, how I kill men. <laughs> And he didn't believe me. He said, let's see, sleep with me. It's a little surprise. We're not visiting Lillian as much as we're breaking her out. What? We can't do that. I mean, that's wrong. What if we get caught? Lillian is a great friend. Will you do it, please? Well, okay. Good. I'll keep the staff busy. You get Lillian. <laughs> a cone shape than a beret. <laughs> anyway, Jean-Pierre must have known about my reputation for playing the field because right from the very beginning he was convinced I couldn't be faithful. He would spy on me in my classes, he'd follow me home from school. Some nights he would even shinny up the oak tree outside my bedroom door. Hi, <laughs> 
Dorothy, that's silly. I bet they have only nice things to say about you. Uh, Rose, I wasn't serious. I know babies can't talk. Oh, yes, they can. It's just that they're only understood by other babies. And, of course, advanced civilization's far, far away. Like where? I'm upset because we'll be all alone in the middle of the ocean on a ship in a stateroom with a bed. Oh, I don't know what to do. I, I haven't been with a man in that special way since childhood. I That was very odd. If I increase my steroids by 100 milligrams, I can sing just like Barbara. Him waffles. He loves waffles. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, I'll tell him at dinner. Dinner's better. He won't be rushing. Allah, I'll, I'll, I'll make something great. I'll tell him in bed. Yeah, bed's better. It always wow. works. When he's asleep, I'll tell him when he's sleeping. <laughs> Renee, come on. I'll sound like a wimp. I can't possibly tell him. Miss woke up from her sedation. She told them that he said, from the grave, we never paid our 78 through 86 income taxes. <laughs> and his partner said only Gustav would know that he must be alive. So they all raced to the cemetery and the entire... It goes wrong. I'm the first one to hear about it. I'm sorry, Sophia. What seems to be the problem? What, am I a doctor? <laughs> Why don't we start by taking your temperature, huh? Temperature? Hmm. He must have graduated at the top of his class. What are you telling me? Uh, tell me, uh, are you... Well, Marguerite, I guess we just let our superstitions get the best of us, and I think we owe you an apology. No, no, I owe you an apology. Because you're right, I'm a lousy housekeeper. <laughs> I feel like such a silly goose. <laughs> Sorry about anything else. Okay. Well, I'm off. Totally. <laughs> And I could never have asked for a better surprise. That's how we feel, too. I have to go. Dorothy, is this goodbye? I love you, darling, but just look at how these catch the light. Oh, I just wish I knew the right thing to do. You know, maybe you should sit down and think about the pros and cons. Whenever I don't know what to do, I, I make a list. I think making a pro and con list is a wonderful idea. Here, it'll help you know the right thing to do. All right, let's see. Uh, pro. <laughs> you just can't help yourself, can you, Gladys? I'm home. Ma, what are you doing here? There was no reason to stay. Well, I thought your grandson's graduation was next week. There isn't going to be a graduation. The big dope failed. <laughs> Ma, you're kidding. Can we get you anything? Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> I think you got yourself one hell of a lawsuit there, Blake. <laughs> Is this a last minute? Something else. Oh? I might kill you. What are you talking about? I've never told anybody this in my life, but my husband died while he was making love to me. <laughs> oh, quit complaining. There are worse things that can happen to you on Valentine's Day, I know. Was there ever a Valentine's Day when you didn't have a date? Please, until I was 80, I was combing geezers out of my blue rinse. <laughs> now, I'm talking about something that happened a long time ago. My Sal and I were driving my father cross-country to a wedding when we had some car trouble. We were shopping. Oh, he wasn't shopping, Dorothy. He was undressing me with his eyes. Oh. <laughs> that 
handsome young man is obviously smitten. Blanche, I don't know about that. I mean, if he had a crush on you, why did he come? A man wants to take out on a date. Why is that hypothetical? Check your calendar, pussycat. <laughs> Now, would you rather this man had looks, personality, or money? Personality. Looks? Money? North? What are you talking about? Come on, Acapulco, the El Presidente. You're planning something big. Well, yeah. I met this great-looking stewardess on the flight out here, and I asked her to go to Acapulco, and she could only go if I found a sitter for her two kids. Hey, I'd really appreciate it. You have nothing to worry about. Who said I was talking about my future? You three aren't exactly spring chickens, you know. She's right. One way or another, we're all in the same boat. I know, but right now our big problem is Lillian. Yeah. We obviously can't take care... Well, if you didn't hit on him. <laughs> I thought everybody'd like some flugel caca. Mrs. Nyland, would you mind answering a few questions? As long as it's not math. Hey, honey, why don't you sit right down here? It's very nice. Oh, oh. 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 Blanche, Blanche, wake up. People are looking at you. What? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I was having an erotic dream. <laughs> You know, your father used to do a thing with feathers when we were first married. <laughs> but he was too late. Twenty dollars. You have Christmas dinner on me. Go on. Go on. I'll see you right after the first of the year, Mr. Thompson. And Happy New Year. All right, girls, I'm all ready to go. Uh, thanks for the money, lady. Uh, Blanche, did you give Mr. Meyer money? Yes, he's a starving artist. This man is the owner of the... ago. <laughs> Oh, I really don't want to talk about this. I want us to talk about this. I want us to have an open, honest relationship. I want to be able to share my deepest, darkest secrets with you. Couldn't we just wear a Hello, Rose. Oh, hi, Miles. I was just listening to a song Charlie and I used to dance to. We've danced to it, too. Not around a campfire hoping for rain. <laughs> Rose. Mrs. Claxton, we want you to know we all appreciate you coming down here in person to help us save the tree. I'm not here to save it. I'm here to make sure they tear it down. I hate trees. I hate people. Well, Mrs. Claxton, Rose told us you said you were going to help us. That's right. And now you're not? That's right. Well, why did you lie? Much, much smaller. <laughs> But bigger than a flea circus. Uh -huh. uh, tell me, Rose. Um, <laughs> did they ever shoot a herring out of a cannon? Catches, you didn't see the robbers. One of the robbers of my mama's jewels. Okay, okay. We're getting the basic system. Whatever. But not from you, from your competitor. What? Because what you were trying to do was terrify us into spending more money than we have. Now get out of here before the victim of violent crime in this house is you. The work in the museum the way we do. <laughs> I call them winter of St. Olaf and spring of St. Olaf and summer of St. Olaf. Why haven't you painted the fall of St. Olaf? Because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Although we came pretty close when new math came along. Annie Dorothy, lighten up. Honey. Good morning, Annie Blanche. Oh, the pup's still here. Yeah, one more day, unless Ma decides to take him bar hopping. How come you dress so early? Oh, I told uh, Mr. Allen that I'd come in. Uh, tell me the truth. Do these glasses make me look stupid? <laughs> Let's just say they don't hide it. <laughs> the consumer show asked me to test these chemically treated lenses. The theory is they don't fog up when you come in from the cold. Excuse me. We're just happy to be with you when you get your little plaque. <laughs> oh, Blanche, it's more than a plaque. In St. Olaf, it's the highest honor. 
we all think of it as as a reminder that no matter how bad things may be in the rest of the world, St. Olaf is still a place that's filled with honest people leading honest lives. No, you moron. She has a date. Oh. <laughs> is that true, Dorothy? Do you have a date tonight? <laughs> Bros, I mean, that's an awfully personal question. To yes! Like a fool. I wondered where they moved the party to. <laughs> what is it? This is the ladies' room. This is where ladies go to the bathroom. Wow! How do you lift this baby up? <laughs> Isaac, later, later. I guess you have to stand back when you flush this thing. <laughs> the records, baked cookies. No, we can't let this nasty flu get us dull. It's bad enough we have to miss the banquet. Must we also participate in a Girl Scout jamboree? <laughs> I was just trying to be kind. Courteous, helpful. Well, dock it off. <laughs> I've had it up to here with your cheerful disposition. Run out and get pregnant. <laughs> We have a lot of features here to create the right environment for both you and baby. That's why we have music piped into every room. So, uh, Mama, what do you think? I think it would cost less to squat in the Laura Ashley showroom. Oh, doesn't matter. You'll lose a parent. You might as well be six. It's scary. And it pushes you right up to the head of the line. I know. Oh, God, I don't know what I'll do. I love that lady so much. I'm really touched. I'm also soaking wet. <laughs> All right, one group hug, and let's hit the road. Oh, so oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Angie, I'm not going to let you do that. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and... If after all the years of love and companionship, Fernando and I are meant to part company, I'll just have to accept that. Time to time, life deals you an unfriendly hand. There's nothing you can do about it. I guess there's a lesson to be learned here. I, of course not. Of course not. I'm strictly cheerleaders, wild parties, and hot tubs. Hey, Stan, before I forget, a deal's a deal. Here's your 50. That's okay, Sophia. This one's on the house. You may all hate Fidel right now, but I know the next time I'm sitting in the park on a warm, sunny day, and I smell the aroma of a cheap cigar, I'll think of Fidel Santiago. Hi, caught in the stamping machine. He'd have choked to death if I hadn't cut his tie with my Girl Scout knife. <laughs> well, he was so overwhelmed with gratitude, he let me check my book out for a whole week. What's so special about that? Oh, usually he'd only let you check a book out for an hour. <laughs> Mr. Minky always said books belong in a library. What's the matter? <laughs> okay, but you just cut her chances in half. <laughs> Never mind, whatever you got. Sophia, are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course. What do you think of a woman who cries herself to sleep every Saturday night because she's bored and lonely? Your daughter does that. I, if you carried out that vendetta, what are you talking about? This was an 80s vendetta. It was all symbolic. You find the guy, drop a fish on his doorstep, boom, you wash your hands of the whole thing. <laughs> Mom, wait a minute, wait a minute. If that's all you did, how come your purse is still over there? Oh, well, maybe I did leave one. matter. Blanche, I admire you. You're a very special woman. But you didn't make a mistake. You were right. Blanche, I'm happy. I like myself. I want to share my life with somebody, but I want to share it with somebody who's as comfortable with me as I am with them. I don't want to go through life wondering if my tie's too loud or I'm using the wrong... Oh, Ma, we can't afford that. That's the thing. The classifieds are filled with ads from people who couldn't find a hotel room this weekend and want to rent a room any place they can. I'm not opening my home to boarders. Oh, they usually just turn out to be low-life trash who'll make a mess, and half the time you can't get your money from them. <laughs> Ma, what are you doing up? 
Disappointed, huh? If I'm up, that means I'm alive. And if I'm alive, it means you can't get your hands on my money. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know about the will. You know if I die, you'll be on Easy Street. What did you do, Dorothy? Slip cyanide in? <laughs> Try not to get all choked up. Look, Dorothy, I appreciate what you did for me, but uh, I got my own plans now. Okay, Mom. Whatever you say. Either. I have a right. One sperm with a sense of direction, and I'm paying for it for the rest of my life. Come on. <laughs> Dorothy, I really want Please, to... Please, Dennis, I just want you to listen. <laughs> oh, geez. The mystery continues. Now, girls, remember, look everyone over very carefully. Try to figure out who are the real guests and who are actors pretending to be guests. Mm. It'll help when it comes to solving the mystery. It's a doornail. Dead, dead, dead. <sighs> Coffee? <laughs> Rose? How can you be so cheery? It's a terrible thing. Come on, she was 89 and she died in her sleep. She fell asleep driving the bookmobile. <laughs> Klingenhofer did? She certainly did. Thank you for pointing that out, Rose. Good night. Dorothy, you know Sonia Klingenhofer? Know her? She's from St. Olaf, isn't she? Lovely woman. See you. <laughs> Sonia's not a woman. I know. She's a cow. Hello? You want to talk to who? Dorothy. Sorry, you must have dialed the wrong number. Blanche, what do you mean, wrong number? Oh, it was a man, so I just assumed. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is she. Graphs in an empty storefront that used to be Jack Kemp's campaign headquarters. <laughs> Rose, he's wearing a cape. And a mask. He's wearing a cape and a mask. Wait a minute. Is this guy an insurance salesman named Marshall Herskovitz? <laughs> That's his car. Out of the room and cry like a baby. Here, go, move. <laughs> she owns us. <laughs> Blanche, I really want to thank you again for these ray blockers. I didn't think I'd get used to everything being pink, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> you marry this man, and we're no longer family. You do this, you are out of my life forever. He reminds me of my old dog, Rusty. Rose, please, Grace isn't feeling well. Can we skip the rusty story today? <laughs> okay, everybody, please take a seat. There's not much to explain. Maybe you could spend a few days with Richard and his children, see how it goes. Oh, um, I don't know. What if they hate me? What if I hate them? Honey, what if you all end up liking each other? Yeah. I guess I could at least give it a chance. Okay, then, that's what I'm gonna do. Split the money. Well, Blanche, looks like the splits have it. Big Daddy was right. Women should not be allowed to vote. Blanche, if it's any consolation, when I wrote down, give it to the old lady, I did mean you. Hi. No, I'm sorry, Mrs. Ferguson. No, I didn't happen to see Ed Sullivan last night, but I'm sure it was a good one. She's ready, God. <laughs> that bill is you, Fluffy. TV, we're using the household money to repair the roof and repave the driveway. Great. And what am I supposed to do while every other old lady on the block is watching Cosby? Well, you can sit in the new driveway and hope that an amusing black family drops by. <laughs> We could sell our old TV and you... And then your friends can take you home. Oh, good. Thank you, Doc. Yes, thank you. 
Is he gone? Yeah, is something wrong? You want him back? No, no, I just want to make sure he was gone. I have to tell you what happened. I died. I died and went to heaven. <laughs> If you change your mind. If you change yours. There's no reason why my mother shouldn't have the cookies. Father, my, my, this must be an important cause. Don't you usually make the nuns ask for money? <laughs> Max, put the paintbrush down a minute. Taste this pizza. I want an absolutely honest opinion. I'm dying. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Perfection, like velvet in my mouth. A masterpiece. See how Blanche is doing on the phones. Blanche? Oh, nothing here, Rose. Back to you. <laughs> oh, wait. I have a bulletin. The intensity of Hurricane Gill has increased dramatically. Several boats at the marina have been beached or capsized. Oh, and here's an item of particular... After an experience, Simon, I need time to think, to gather my priorities and put them all in perspective. Whatever you need. I'll call you tomorrow? Sure. You're not upset, are you? No, no, no. <laughs> Boy, what a beautiful look. And then Daddy'd tell us a story and tuck us into our feathers. Who was your father, Rose? Michael Landon? <laughs> <laughs> Can I help it if I came from a, a happy family? Well, we had our share of problems. Believe me, we had some... Brought back lovely memories, but I'm not the same woman you walked out on two years ago. I mean, my whole life has changed, and quite frankly, I like the way it is. The fact that I'm on my, my own now, I... God, Dorothy, are you saying you won't take me back? Well, we could never have things the way we used to have, Stan. Did I just lapse into Swedish? <laughs> Read it and weep. Tales of Tune to the Tiger and His Friends by Hans Christian Luckerhoven. <laughs> well, who's Hans Christian Luckerhoven? <laughs> Only St. Olaf's greatest author. He wrote the classic fairy book. Oh. It's just that that was the first time that had ever happened in 18 years of married life. <laughs> Get out of here. I mean to say that every night without tell us is it about Ernie? He's lousy in bed. I knew it. <laughs> I knew there was something wrong with him. No, he's not lousy. Well, I don't think he is. Well, either he is or he isn't. Well, I'm sure he's not. Of course, I have no proof that he's not, but still he's not. Pussy cat. <sighs> Ma, where did you get that money? Stan gave it to me. Ma, he's trying to buy your love. I'm selling it. Now, look, we cannot go on living like this with Blanche and... Ro go, I'm tired of arguing with you. Sophia, is that a Captain Jack seafood shanty uniform you're wearing? No, Rose, I'm off to discover the Straits of Magellan. Yo-ho! <laughs> David, that's who. I tell you, that car was there three hours ago when I left. Blanche, the man, is obviously obsessed with you. And I think he's a little nutty. Now, look, I've been involved in these fatal attractions before. <laughs> I can handle this. I'll just go out there and... Do that. Yes, I do. I've just been in dry dock. <laughs> I'm back now. <laughs> Suited up, coach. Put me back in the game. <laughs> okay, but you have to listen to everything I say. When I say jump, you say on who? I'd like to drink a toast. To Sophia 
whom I hope I can count on. For what? Get your lips off, Harvey, and tell me what you want. Since you mentioned it, I want you to do something for me. I want you to come over to my place tomorrow night. Oh, what is it, your birthday? Sophia, there are... This is terrible. I wish it were over. It will be soon. I haven't been this scared since 1952, when St. Olaf's most active volcano threatened to erupt. <laughs> well, luckily, there were some druid priests who were in town for the opening of Stonehenge Land. <laughs> So you're studying for your interview. Uh-huh. I know it's a lot of added responsibility, but I really want this job. Then why are you reading the racing form? <laughs> the racing form? Why would you think I'm reading the racing form? You can't lie to your mother. Mothers always know when you're poor. Isn't there anything else you can do? Well, I suppose we could prove Mr. Nivingston was faking his injury if we could trick him into performing certain physical acts of a sexual nature. <laughs> All we'd need is a devastatingly beautiful woman with a flair for seduction. <laughs> How about Mrs. Hofstad down the street? Back with a backbone. Oh, it really was a surprise. But it's Dorothy who has me worried. She just looks so confused. I can't figure out her problem. Uh, I'm having a little trouble with that myself. Pussycat, what's so terrible about accepting a present from Stan? God knows he gave us all plenty of misery. Maybe he's trying to tell you he's sorry. I have... <laughs> Blanche, Blanche, if I thought for a second that there was anything between you and Ted, I never would have done what I did. What did you do, Dorothy? <laughs> she spent the night with Ted. But Ted, was your date, Blanche? Dorothy, you must have slept with a boy who cried continuously. <laughs> I just got off the phone with a Sergeant Delfino of the Bunko Squad. He said they picked up two people who matched the description we gave them. They want us to come down tomorrow and pick out nuns from a lineup. Hmm. The market's in Miami. If it was in Phoenix, I'd be going in the sun. <laughs> now, Sophia Rose asked a perfectly sensible question. Am I the only one she caught by surprise? Mama. Rose, I'm going to buy a nectarine. I go to the market every day to buy a nectarine. At 82, that's life. A round trip on the number six bus to buy a... You haven't read The Art of the Deal, have you, Coach? <laughs> Do I smell aftershave? <laughs> the coach was here trying to get me to compromise my principles. I don't see what the big deal is about passing this boy. Why, in my neck of the... I killed her. I might just as well have shot her with a gun. Oh. Honey, the woman was 83. She had a heart attack. It was just a coincidence. Now, you haven't slept for two nights. You have to stop torturing yourself. I guess you're right. Well, Rose, honey, you can't sleep again. No. Oh, Rose, you have to put this terrible thing behind. That happens a lot with people when they retire. Maybe you should talk to them about it. Maybe you're right. Hey, everybody, I found the perfect guy to convert the garage. Follow me. Oh. oh. <laughs> Everybody, this is Vincenzo. Ma, who is Vincenzo? That's my minor point. My major point is that, like Rosie, you're screwing around in the bedroom when there are important things to do outside. Yeah, I can't believe it. That makes sense. I mean, you went the long way around, but that actually makes sense. What an idiot of all the lame-brained, moronic dopes. I mean, if ever I wanted to reach right through the phone and strangle somebody. Not really a morning person, are you, pussycat? <laughs> and it's this caterer that I hired for my Save the Wetlands banquet. He's a week late with a menu. No all the time. I mean, it's very common. Look, look at John Derrick and Ursula Andrus. John Derrick and Linda Evans. John Derrick and Bo Derrick. <laughs> You know, maybe it's not so common. Maybe it's just one guy who gets around the I bet if older men knew how ridiculous they look with younger women, they wouldn't do it. Well, they don't. Never really means it. I did. Well, you're a freak. <laughs> Besides, it's bad luck if you don't get kissed at midnight. Why, my New Year's Eve kiss is the most important one of the whole year. It sets the tone for the next 365 days. <laughs> One year, I didn't get... I think I'll just stick around. What the heck, that car will still be there tomorrow.
<laughs> Boy, this is depressing. <laughs> Girls, let's go cruising. Hey, I know a place where guys wrestle naked in the mud. Oh, I have a confession to make. Ma, I came here to beg you for the last time not to get married. I didn't want you and Max together because it looked like you were cheating on Pop. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I still think of the two of you as being married, and I didn't want Max taking Pop's place. But you wanted to thank me for the work that I've been doing on the Hotchkiss Project. Oh, well, that's lovely. Just lovely. <laughs> Especially since there wasn't all that much work involved. Ma, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing with the sherry? Don't worry. I'm not going to drink it. I was just going to hide it from the door. Well, you must be Blanche's sister. You must be blind. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's home just burned down. Well, that's terrible. Not to me. <laughs> it was a retirement home. You know what they did? They set up the fire alarm in a retirement home. Oh, oh, Dorothy, by any chance, did you borrow my pearl handle six-shooter? <laughs> Blanche, you look ridiculous. Well, I do not. I'm a cowgirl. Yippee, I old KY. Kaye. Little. <laughs> Ma! Blanche made me do it. What? Don't you have a mind of your own? If Gladys Goldfine told you to drink a whole bottle of Kayapactate, would you? Who blabbed? <laughs> Everybody, just calm down. Sophia, tell me what happened. Same old story. Stanley, Stanley, don't worry. I'm 82 years old. My bones are brittle. My muscles are atrophied. My circulation is worse than U.S. News and World Report. <laughs> There's no physical they can give that Sophia Petrillo can't fail. Your help. Ladies, with all due respect, I think it's time you threw in the dish towel. I mean, trying to fix it yourself was cute, but I think you proved your point. It's time to let a man take over. I would lose. Oh, I'll get your coat. Lily's leaving. <laughs> Not so hard. I look in my hands. You're making a big mistake. The man may be... Marry your daughter. And, well, I guess in asking her hand, I'm also asking your hand. So, what do you say? Will you be my mother-in-law? Marrying us both, eh? So, uh, I suppose one could say six years ago you left us both. Of course, that was after you sp Hello? Is this Miss Beatty? I beg your pardon? Well, do you have a brother, Al? I see. Uh, well, I must have the wrong number. I'm sorry. Wrong number. Right number, wrong number. Oh, he's our shoe repair guy. I told him you're dying to go out with him. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry you made the trip for nothing. My mother refuses to accept the fact that I am getting married in three days. So, uh, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> Goodbye, Errol. Mom, you're having a bump of crawl. And I'm expecting more rain. How you just stop that? Blanche, think about it. Would it really be so bad if you and Jerry just had a platonic relationship? Rosa, I already have friends I don't have sex with. You guys. <laughs> This morning you were so full of life and now he looks just terrible. Rose, honey, don't torture yourself. Now, baby is very, very old. Whenever one of... Well, the bed's in my bedroom. Who's gonna know? Everyone who knows the bunt sign on the New York Yankees. <laughs> Look, everyone, Mr. Terrific. Rose, please, you're embarrassing me. Oh, still young. Anti-aging. <laughs> I'd sue. Please, Bornak. How could you? Oh, look. They have air 
airbrushed liver spots all over us. <laughs> Ruby? Yes, Vlad? Yes, come on in. Okay. Say. Meet everybody, Rose. Oh. Hello. 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 Rose. <laughs> That's Hello. Sophia. <laughs> Sophia. Oh, sit down. Oh, yes, yeah. thanks. Well, who's the lucky bride? You must be referring to the once and future Mrs. Yutz. <laughs> My husband. Morning. I do not know what I'm going to do. I called Mel all last night and all of today I haven't gotten through to him yet. Oh, the nerve. If you wind up having to read a book because of that man. Where can he be? He never leaves the house. Not even something to do with my life. I never think of myself as old, but everyone else does. Maybe I am old. Old and useless. And terrified. <laughs> Wrote it hell, I had a stamp made. <laughs> oh, I guess I've just been a fool. <sighs> Blanche, we're an awful lot alike. Too much alike. It's probably why we never got along. <sighs> that also might be the we can do better. <laughs> Coach, let me save you a speech. Kevin deserves an F, and that's what he's getting. In all the years I've been at St. Sebastian's, Kevin Kelly's the best athlete I've ever coached. For the very first time, we got a genuine shot at taking state. <laughs> With Kevin playing, we can win that game in our sleep. <laughs> Sorry for the interruptions, but I think every 80-year-old in the city has gone berserk. <laughs> hey, what can you say? There were some sick people out there. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, will my monkey be okay on my lap, or should I get a chair? I have a place for your monkeys. <laughs> Who is it? Dorothy. Dorothy. Stay under the covers. I'll get rid of her. Uh, Dorothy, it's... In the open anyway. Come on in and say your piece. Well, the reason is we've been getting along so well as friends lately that... I didn't want us to have another night like that night we had in college. In college? What are you talking about? That night. The spring jamboree out at Grady's Motor Lodge. Grady's Motor Lodge? I never... I have a problem. I'll say. <laughs> you should never have stopped using that depilatory. Ma, I'm up here. Ma, Rose isn't talking. And I know they do, but, you know, he hardly has time for them. Or for me. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the main reason he wants me for his wife is because he needs a mother for his children. Well, honey, if you think that's true, you'd better find out. I intend to. I'm going to ask him straight out. This is the best table in the house. <laughs> You're pulling my leg. No, but I'd like you. Stop being naughty. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Neither did I. Be naughty again. <laughs> Glad you are one hell of a woman. I know. <laughs> Go on. Well, I've been just about everywhere there is, but in all my years in the Navy, I've never met anybody like you. Yeah, well, in all my... The murder of Kendall Nesbitt. Lieutenant Alvarez, I don't think that'll be necessary, as I seem to have recovered from my death. <laughs> But I would like to thank the Maltese Falcon Club, and in particular, Blanche Devereaux, for giving us a weekend we'll never forget. Thank you for coming. Oh. <laughs> I used to think you'd give an old woman one last chance to regain her daughter's respect. Now I guess I'll just stick my head in the oven oh, and see right, what... Ma. <laughs> Maybe guilt will work, 
But, Ma, this is the last time. Oh, thanks, pussycat. You won't regret it. Now, would you mind taking Ma for a walk tonight? Uh, My mother taken away at the departure gate. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about? Neither do I. Goodbye. <laughs> Hi, Ma. You ready to go? You bet, pussycat. I'm glad you stopped being so suspicious. Oh, please. If you can't trust family, who can? He's too good to give up over something like this, and she'd marry him, and you'll say he's been nothing but trouble from the start, and you wouldn't marry him. I'd marry him. Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> what? Well, no, I don't want to be a mother again, either. Oh, I'd love to be a mother again. What, scrubbing socks, picking up toys? Tucking in beds, packing healthy me. Ever since I was a little girl, when I first heard my parents whispering about the St. Olaf Slasher. <laughs> Slash? Yes! Oh, he terrorized St. Olaf for months. In the dark of night, he'd sneak into an unsuspecting farmer's field and mercilessly slash his scarecrow to shreds. Never checked her into Shady Pine. She never would have made those s'mores. There never would have been a fire, and none of this would have happened. Hey, when you look at it like that, you are responsible. <laughs> Yeah, I never had thought about it that way. You know, it is like they're trying the wrong person. It is your fault. Wait a second. How you doing up there, Ma? Fine. Sophia, why don't you want to sit back here with us, honey? Because after three days on the road with you guys, this jackass smells better. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that beautiful sky. That's one of the most wonderful things about being here. I do that for Sophia. She seems to get a big kick out of calling me names, so I let her do it. <laughs> She's really a very sweet lady. She just doesn't like to show it. Is that a family trait? <laughs> you won't believe what happened to me at the store. I saw the McDowell's. Well, luckily, they didn't see me. But what doesn't? <laughs> Cake's done. 45 minutes. <laughs> I wonder why Ma isn't back from the market yet. Oh, she probably stopped to rest on a bench, poor thing. Oh, honey, her problem is not physical. She could do a lot more if she... <laughs> Me too, Sophia, because you I said quiet. quiet. <laughs> Girls, you will never believe what happened to me at the supermarket yesterday. Um, you were in a real hurry, and you needed to go through the express line, but you had 25 items. So you went... Supper. <laughs> Rose, you can't believe everything you read in that rag. It caters to people of the lowest intelligence. Then why do you buy it? <laughs> because it's the only newspaper Elvis will talk to from beyond the grave. <laughs> Country shaved under their arms. Ma, you told me how much America meant to you, how, how wonderful America was, how, how nice it is to, to be in a country that doesn't care about soccer. <laughs> that money belongs to America. Ma, you have America's money and you have to give it. And she does about people. Dorothy, you have a right to have your own friends, but sometimes it takes a good friend to point out your mistakes. And I think you're making one with Barbara. How dare you make judgments like that? And how dare you tell me who my friend should be? Oh, all right. I admit I'm guilty. But what's the big deal? We all had a good time. All of you who had a good time, put your hands back up. Ed, you damn liar, put your hand down. <laughs> so what harm did I... Cup of tea, ma. Hmm? Good idea, pussycat. Ma, you never thought I wasn't your daughter, did you? Of course not. Because if you want to check the results Oh, of don't it... talk crazy. Go in and make the tea. I'll be right in. What have you got there? Nothing. Or, and she knows what I'm going through. Well, not exactly. Actually, I've never been with a married man. Get out of here. <laughs> no, it's true. I just never figured a relationship with a married man was worthwhile. Good for you, Blanche. Well, I'm no fool. The husband... It sure took you a long time to spell welcome Magda. Oh, I thought that'd be too boring. So instead, I decided to depict Magda's escape from Czechoslovakia. 
But isn't that uh, barbed wire? <laughs> isn't it amazing what you can do with icing? <laughs> Why is it so hard to believe that I am being chased by two men? Shut up, Blanche. <laughs> Last week, uh, I didn't have anything to do one night. Shut up, Ma. <laughs> so I went to the dinner theater and I saw Lyle and Sonny in a production of Equus. Uh, our six... I am miserable. It is mind over matter, Dorothy. Now you can do it. You can get up off that couch. You feel better already. You're not sick anymore, Dorothy. You can heal yourself. Walk, Dorothy, walk. <laughs> hey, just because you put your this in. <laughs> I haven't had this much off the spool since I measured the couch for slipcovers. <laughs> Ma, I must have forgotten something. Hi, Ma, surprise. Michael, what are you doing? <laughs> How's it going? Dorothy, I've just had the most delightful conversation with Rose and Madge. That's Blanche. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> However, I just remembered a previous engagement. I really have to go. Oh, that's too bad. Well, at least let me walk you to your car. Picture painted. I've always wanted to sit for a portrait. An artist could use his palette to bring out my distinctive personality. My southern fieriness. He could showcase my inner beauty. Plus, he could cheat and paint your head to scale. <laughs> I'm overcome. I'm about to cry. I can't believe it. I'm actually about to cry. It's you. Wow. Misjudge that one. <laughs> oh, look at her. I've never seen Dorothy look so happy. Miami, Miami, you've got style. Blue sky, sunshine, white sand by the mile. When you live in this town, each day is sublime. The coldest of winters are warm and divine. I found this picture of your mother and father. What do you want me to do with it? Mrs. Bornack? Mrs. Petrillo? I understand what you're talking about. I feel the same way when I hear the words, and filling in for Doc, Tommy Newsom. <laughs> Oh, this is terrific, terrific. Blanche took a positive step and positive things are happening in our life. Maybe it'll work for me. You know what I'm going to try to get? It was a symbol of freedom. This picture is a symbol of liberty. This picture was made in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they stopped off at the Ellis Island gift shop. <laughs> the point is... This picture is worth a considerable amount of money. Lady, that story is worth more than the picture. I am never speaking to that low-down scuzzball ever again. <laughs> he changed his mind. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes, this is Rose. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, okay. Bye. Honey, you just follow the doctor's orders and everything will be fine. Dorothy, I cannot possibly go without physical activity for an entire week. I have serious needs. After all, I'm at my sexual peak. Blanche. Well, I am, Dorothy. When a woman's at her sexual Blanche, peak... Blanche, boy, this is my child. Mom, I'm not a child anymore. I wish you wouldn't treat me like one. Oh, don't. <laughs> Maybe it sounds strange, but... Without Charlie, I, I thought that part of my life was over. I never gave it a second thought. Until now? Then I think you should go on the cruise. Honey, if the situation is right, you'll know it. But I'm not sure. And the doctor said you are supposed to be in bed. Oh, I'm fine. I just came from the hospital. They told me Sophia was discharged. Is she here? No, I haven't taken her out of the trunk of the car yet. <laughs> oh. There you are, Sophia. Are you okay? Hey, I just spent two days... I'm sorry, I only date officers. <laughs> Norman, would you like to play with the potato head? Sure. What do you feel like doing?
good night, Blanche. Well, what's your hurry? Why don't you come in for a nightcap? Oh, I don't want to put you out. Well, I like to put out. <laughs> Stranded on the side of the road, and I ended up fixing her transmission. Aren't there people who do that for a living? Andy Granatelli does. <laughs> Although he doesn't actually fix them himself. I guess he doesn't want to get his trench coat dirty. But I hear he has this special school in Wisconsin. I know. Shut up, Rose. Are you quiet? <laughs> I'm whispering. I, I don't mean now. I... I mean, then. Oh, it's very quiet. I'm very quiet. I don't scream. Well, we do a lot of things real people do. Except for one very important thing. <laughs> Boy, is that going to put a hitch in Dorothy's plan? <laughs> Hello, I'm Rose Nyland. You must be Frank. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Well, thank you, Rose. Back so soon. Oh, the best possible thing has happened. I still have both my kidneys and my sister's fine. Blanche, how is that possible? They couldn't use my kidney. My blood vessels were too small. But of course they're too small. I've always been very petite. <laughs> Blanche, Virginia. Yes. You, sir, are a dirtbag. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It must be the heat. <laughs> What are you two doing? Can't you see Patrick is in the middle of an exquisite performance? Whoa. You have no idea just how many performances he has been... What's got me so sad? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh I, just... I just never, never had two better friends. I just can't stand the thought of leaving you. Except <laughs> for the one that I have prepared. Laughter from the audience. <laughs> what can I say about my good friend Agnes? I'll never forget the last time I spoke to her. She said, Rose, I don't understand you. You work so much harder than the rest of us. What a tag. Keep her company. I'm going to help Dorothy. <laughs> Sophia? You know, I always thought there'd be a, a Catholic heaven with nuns and priests and children. I'll be taking it to a cold climate. <laughs> Good night. Sister, thanks, ladies. It was a pleasure. Nice meeting you, Harry. Have fun. The man is a scuzzball. Ma, the four of us have lived together for a long time. Now, how can you just walk in here and announce... <laughs> I'm still a little pretty and nifty. I don't know how to so hard. I'm still a little pretty and nifty. I don't know how to so hard. I'm 